guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here now here just simply scroll down now here you can see domains just simply click on this verify domains over here now just simply wait now just simply click on this next now just simply click on this verify and just simply wait over here now just simply click on this create button like this way and then click on this add new user now for the first name just simply type quick and for the last just simply type lab and then click on this add new user and it's done now just simply click on this done and this done now here you can see download user just simply click over here and then as a format just simply choose a .csv format and then click on this download now just simply click on this link like download csv now just simply save this file to a local system and it's done now just simply click on this bulk update users and now just simply click on this attach csv file and just simply upload the file which is just downloaded over here and then click on this open and then click on this upload now just simply wait over here it's in progress and as you can see it's done once you're done with this task just simply click on this hamburger over here now here you can see account just simply click over here and then click on this account settings now i request you please pay attention on this task now just simply click on this arrow for the profile just simply click over here now here you can see name so just simply change this name like this way and then click on this save now just simply scroll down now here you can see support message just simply click over here now here just simply type subscribe to quick lab scroll down and then click on this save and it's done now just simply scroll up and just simply click on this up arrow so we are done with the profile now here you can see preferences just click over here and now here you can see new product just simply click on this pencil icon and just simply choose turn off when it releases and then click on this save so it's done now here you can see communication preferences just simply click over here and just simply check on all the check boxes like this way and then just simply click on this save and it's done so we are done with the preferences as well now just simply click over here now here you can see personalization just simply click over here and then choose a custom logo over here now for this logo what we do just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one now just simply scroll down and from here you can see this logo so just simply save this logo to your local system and it's done now just simply come back over here and click on the select file and just simply upload the file which is just downloaded for this logo and then click on this open and it's done scroll down and then click on this save and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check in progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch as you can see we got a score now just simply click on the task number three scroll down and click on this check in progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch as you can see we got a score now for the task number four what you do just simply open this link in incognito window like this way just simply click on this get started now if we just simply check over here here you can see we are logging with the admin account so basically what you do just simply click on this add new account now for this account what you do just simply come back over here click on this directory then click on this users and then click on this name quick lab and from here just simply copy this username just simply copy like this way come back over here and just simply paste the name over here like this way and then click on this next now i request you please pay attention first of all what you do just simply come back over here now for this reset password just simply click over here and now just simply click on this create new password now for this password what you do just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this password copy like this come back over here and just simply paste the password over here like this way and then click on this reset and it's done now just simply click on this done okay now just simply come back to the gmail and just simply paste the password over here and hit enter wait for a second now and then click on this i understand 
now here is asking for the create a new password so what you do just simply paste the password which is just copy from the live instruction page like this way okay and now after this password just simply type one two three now again just simply paste password over here and after this password just simply type one two three you can give, go with another password but this is a very easy way so just simply click on this save changes and it's done so now you just let me log in with the quick lab account okay now if you just simply come back over here and if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day guys